Welcome back to a kids' books read aloud channel, Story Time with Little Book Nook. Today we are reading from the New York Times bestseller, The ABCs of Black History, written by Rhea Cortez. Stick around till the end of the story and please hit the like button. A is for Anthem, a banner of song that wraps us in hope, lets us know we belong. We lift up our voices, lift them, and sing. From stages and street corners, let freedom ring. B is for beautiful. I'm talking to you. Your voice, your height, your hair, your hue. B is for brave, for bright, and for bold. For those who stood up even when they were told to step back. Stand down, remember their place. B is for brotherhood, for believing in grace. C is for community, where we live, laugh, and eat. And for church, where we worship, mourn, sing, and meet. Did you hear Reverend King preach on his dream of civil rights, human rights, a powerful theme? D is for diaspora. Pulled from our homes, we were carried away in ships on the foam to Haiti, Cuba, America, Brazil. Our names are different, new, but still, we are connected, then, now, forevermore, to that long ago, faraway African shore. E is for explore, to study a place, like Matthew Henson, the Arctic, May Jameson Space. E is for education, for expanding the mind, like Ruby Bridges, Linda Brown, The Little Rock Nine. The first black children in all white schools, they opened the doors and challenged the rules. F is for food, grown and farmed with our hands, worked and tilled and pulled from the land. For fried fish, ham hocks, warm buttermilk bread, or maybe the sharp taste of mustards instead. F is for folklore by the light of the moon, for family, for freedom, for jumping the broom. G is for go, towards cities we were bound, for the great migration from country to town. From farming the land to the factory floor, we carried the blues on our backs, not much more. H is for Harlem, those big city streets. We walked and we danced to our own jazzy beat. When Louis and Bessie and Duke owned the stage, and Langston and Zora Neale Hurston, the page. I is for imagine, invent, innovative for all of the ways we are so creative. J is for Juneteenth, we were finally free, or so we hoped in this moment of glee. J is for Juver, when the drummers drum drum, from Trinidad, Grenada, and Haiti they come. K is for kin, our fathers and mothers, our ancestors, elders, our sisters, and brothers. K is for Kwanzaa, which honors that bond. Ask Habari Ghani, and we might respond. Umoja, unity. Kujichagulia, self-determination or believing in your own strength. Ujima, collective work and responsibility or taking care of our kin. Ujama. Cooperative economics are working hard to create new businesses and support other businesses in the community. Nia, purpose. Kaumba, creativity. Imani, faith. L is for love. L is for love. L is always for love. M is for march, for lifting our feet taking the movement, the cause, to the street. Black lives matter, every breath, every dream, 
every thought, each idea, each impossible scheme. The might of our message is easy to hear. The drumbeat of hope is louder than fear. N is for newspapers. We started our own to tell our stories and let it be known. We deserve the front page. We deserve to be seen and to also be featured in slick magazines. O is for organize, for getting together to sit in and boycott to make our lives better. Thank you, Fred Hampton. Thank you, Diane Nash, for not being afraid of the possible clash with police and people who shouted and teased. Because of you, we can go where we please. P is for power. It's part of our core. Sometimes it is quiet. Sometimes it must roar like a panther. Isn't that right, Huey P? Power for people like you and like me. And who do you think has more power than most? The president. Obama was first to that post. But Shirley Chisholm, unbossed and unbought, came so much closer than most people thought. A black woman could, which just goes to show. P is for possible, so glow on, child, glow. Q is for queens, behold and bow down. Shield your eyes from the shine of their crowns. R is for rise, to reach for the top. Relentlessly striving, refusing to stop, like ball players, boxers, and gymnasts who fly, sprinters and skaters who zoomed right on by, old records, old thinking, a sight to behold. They went for the win and grabbed for the gold. S is for the scientists who charted the stars, studied the bees to care of our hearts. For Benjamin Banneker, Patricia Bath, for Katherine Johnson's beautiful math. S is for soul, how sweet the sound. From the croon of Sam Cooke to the wail of James Brown. Brother Ray on the keys, Sister Tharp dressed in mink, and Queen Aretha sang, you better think. T is for Tuskegee an all-black school where students learn trades and toiled with tools. That's how we will rise, said boss Booker T. But another smart man just didn't agree. W.E.B. Du Bois said, Industry's fine, but I think it's better to work on your mind. They had different ideas, but here is what's true. In their own ways, they were thinking of you. You is for United States. This story is tough. The birth of a nation was deadly for us. We the people in the land of the free? No one who was enslaved would agree. You is for unbroken, unshaken, unbound, like Harriet Tubman who went underground took back her freedom and freed hundreds more, some as a spy in the great civil war. But when the states were united again, the fight for our freedom and lives didn't end. So you is for unfinished this American tale. With courage and strength, we will prevail. V is for vote. Do you know what that means? The freedom to pick and choose as you please. The freedom to choose who makes the rules, who has the power, who gets the tools to make their lives better. That's why we fight. The freedom to vote is a true civil right. W is for writers whose wisdom and words bring to life worlds where our voices are heard. Rappers and poets and songwriters, too. All those who spin from our point of view. X is for Malcolm, Malik El Shabazz, known also as Red, Malcolm Little, El Haj. By any means necessary, he insisted on change. Starting with X, he reclaimed his name. 
Y is for young, gifted, and black, like Lady Lorraine, who never looked back. She wrote of big dreams in rooms so small, it's hard to believe they were dreamed in at all. Lorraine and her work moved Nina Simone so much that Nina made work of her own. Young, gifted, and black, a banner of song that wraps us in hope, lets us know we belong. Z is for Zenith, the highest, the peak, the top of that mountain King said we would reach. He won't get there with us, but still we march on, rising, rising like the sun with the dawn. Mm-hmm.